Hi everyone, it's Natasha and thank you so much for stopping by. This is episode two of my planning series. I think I might call it either my journey to planning, um, beginning to plan, or struggles to plan. I don't know what to call it, but um, it's my planning series. This is episode two, as I've said. So what? Um, from episode one, I had the um, planner haul. And I'm sorry I wasn't able to um, record the uncoiling of this. It's just, um, I got a little too excited and I really didn't do that. So what I did was I placed the rubber bands here first and then I uncoiled it. And now it's still intact and I haven't moved that. Um, I am now going to be able to use my um, Fiskars cutter. And I think this is called the uh, guillotine cutter because it's not like one of those, um, you, I don't know what to call the other version of the cutter. Um, but, and this is also my hole punch and, um, I have not used this as well. So, oh, hold on. Yeah, this came with the punch. I, uh, the puncher, I just don't know if I have to use this or what this is for. I really don't know. But let me just pop this back in here. Let's see. There we go. Whoops. It's just not coming through. Okay. So, um, yeah, I don't know what to do with this. I'm probably doing something wrong. Um, I already put it on the A5. And, yeah, I'm supposed to lock it, I think. But I really did not do that. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's not to lock the size. It's just to lock the entire thing. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these up. And wish me luck because this is my first time to ever do this. But um, what I'm planning to do is trim the punch and um, hole punch it. So I can just pop this in here like that. Um, let's see, how is this, so I'm not going to use this at all, let's put this over there, um, uh, I don't know if I'm going to use these, goals for the year, Oof. yeah, I don't know, oh, the notes I'm going to use, so I'm going to trim these. trim it that it's hold on. there we go I'm not gonna trim it too much just so I have enough room you know so I don't know yeah this is um I mean it's not my first time to ever use a cutter but um, this is his first time to use my cutter. If you haven't seen my unboxing of this, I did this a while back, um, 2017. So here this one goes. So I did that. Um, and now, I just don't know how to do this. Oh, here we go. Okay. So personal. Yeah, I honestly don't even know how to do this. Because it says personal. But. Okay, I'll probably do a pause. And um, you know what? I'm going to use this to try and see what I'm going to get by hole punching this one. Oh, it's not gonna fit. It's too thick. Okay, I'm just gonna rip this. Yeah, cause I'm not gonna use this anyway. Let's see, me ripping it. Let's see how it goes. Okay. Let's check it out. Oh, let's put this down. So, 
Uh-oh. That is not happening. Nope, this is, nope. It's good thing I did that because it's just not happening. Oh, I did it in the other way, so that was my fault. See, this is really the start of what not to do, you know? So this is not happening right here. It said this is for an A5, but it's not, and this is in the widest setting. So, um, yeah, I don't know what to do now. I think um, this is probably what's gonna happen. Let's see, okay, so this is going this way. Okay, so, let me see. I'm gonna, this is, I didn't, you know, just so you guys know, all of this is just, everything is new to me. So thank you for staying with me and doing this journey with me because this is all new to me. And I really don't know what I'm doing, literally. I might need to get a different hole puncher because this is not working at all. Not working at all for me. Um, yeah, so I don't know how this is going to work. Because if I have to do this like that, it's a little bit ridiculous, I think. Yeah, this is not working for me at all. I need to get like, um, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to need to purchase a different hole puncher. Because what I actually was thinking of getting uh, doing today was... I was gonna um, start getting my planner set set together because you know it looks so easy on YouTube but apparently I purchased the wrong hole punch so I really thought this was the way to go I did ask for um, advice from a lot of people on Facebook and they directed me to this and it seems like this is not gonna work out at all so let's try it this way okay yeah this is not gonna work um, I don't know what to do anymore I really don't Maybe this way, okay. Okay, I think I kinda got it. Let me just, let me just do this. The problem is, since my injury, um, my accident, and my pregnancy and baby, I do lose a lot of new memories, very, very, fast and because of that it could be an issue for me so I'm gonna start looking for a different hole punch because this does not work for an A5 at all yeah here we go again you know I thought I had it but I didn't so here we go again I thought I really had it okay check it out right there okay so I'm probably just gonna put like a sticker on there to know where I'm supposed to stop for an E5 let me see where is oh my gosh I'm just gonna give myself a guide so um, I know where to stop I'm gonna use the washi this is the first thing I saw it has nothing to do with anything <laughs> Um, other than that, but I really do think that I'm still going to um, get myself a new hole punch just because this is just not working out, you know? And I thought it would just be like one of those easy things, but because you know how it is. 
other people do it and they make it look so effortless and so this is the reality and I think as soon as I do get the vibe going I think it should be um okay this is not really working but there we go I'm just gonna put it over here just to see that's my mark so I place it right there to see that that's my mark I'm gonna try it again because I don't want to ruin the paper and waste that, you know? So, I'm going to go ahead and see that right there. And I just got to flip it to do that. But, yeah, if this is going to work, this is going to work for now. But this is not something that I would prefer. And I would really prefer to just pop the paper in and um, see it's still not working. It's still not working. Like it's working on theory, in theory, but it's just not working. Like I don't know what to do anymore. Yeah. Ah, so we're back to the drawing board right here. So this is literally like if anybody is watching and you've done this already like I'm always almost gone I'm pretty sure you're like um she needs help and I truly do I truly do need help so let's see there so it's gonna be somewhere like that um so I don't know what I did wrong mm, I thought Would be like right here maybe I'm just gonna do that I'm gonna do this again there we go well I'm hoping that this actually is gonna work oh and there it goes so I'm gonna move my marker and just um There you go, I just moved my marker, which is not really sticking very well. But there you go. Um, so I'm gonna do the notes part. And if this doesn't work, oh well, you know, what are you gonna do? I'm probably going to wait until I get um, a better um, six hole punch. I'm not saying that this isn't very good. It'll probably be okay. So this is a test. Oh my gosh, it works. Yay. <laughs> so this is probably, um, it's just, I don't know. For me, you know, I would rather I had a hole punch that I just pop it in. I don't have to flip it. I'm not going to use these. Just to let you know. Um, so, I mean, maybe I should, you know. But I think I'll just put this in the back. This will be like a scratch paper or something. So I'm just going to pop this in here. And now I'm going to start with um, the rest of the good stuff that I really was going to use. However, um, this is the beginning this is a divider, which is very flimsy because it's just paper with a tab. I'm kind of disappointed in that, actually. So I think I will get a divider soon. I mean, yeah, I have a I have a store in mind on Etsy. And um, I do like the stuff that's in there. So we'll see if I'll go through with it. But I was thinking of getting it in the... Um, like in a different binder. That's why I was saying earlier um, in my previous episode that maybe I'm just gonna get a different binder and just do all other fun stuff in it, you know? Cause like, it is, um, I can, you know, there'll be different topics for what I wanna do and I don't know. I find it just kind of fun to do, do these kind of things. So that was what I was kind of thinking of doing. And now that I'm, I've gone through it, 
because this is the first time I've ever bought a Bloom or a uh, Bloom um, planner. I've never seen it in person until I bought it. And because of that, now I know what to look forward to. Okay. Now I know what I'm getting myself into. So, and a big part that I am doing this really is I want to document what I, what I did, what I'm going to do, yada, 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 that kind of thing. Um, so, there we go. So, let's see. It might be easier to just do it this way. cut them up you know so anyway um if you guys have any suggestions on some Etsy shops or um, binders feel free to do that down below again um, if you're new to my channel I always welcome comments suggestions chit chat questions anything feel free to do all that because um, I just, I do en enjoy interacting with anybody that is interested in what I'm doing, um, or what I'm about to do, or any of my videos. And if you haven't yet, please do hit the subscribe button down below, and do not forget to hit the bell as well. The bell is very important. It's going to alert you every time I do have a new upload. So, do not forget about the bell. If you want to be notified, oops. If you want to be notified every time I do an upload on a new video. Uh-oh, that's not good. And the paper is getting bad. Uh-oh. That's not good at all. Not good at all. I might be new at this, but I know this is not good. There we go. Oh, that's not so great. Oh. So, um... So if any of you are wondering why I went in this route and I, di I just didn't, you know, I'm not getting just particular refills on Etsy or um, Amazon or uh, Kiki K or Louis Vuitton, Kate Spade, any 85 refills. Um, okay, let's just... If you guys are wondering why I didn't go that route, um, I wanted to really utilize my puncher. I also thought it would be, um, it would give me more leeway for creativity as well as um, be able to utilize my hole punch as well. Um, so that's one reason and another reason is I didn't know it was going to be this hard. <laughs> that's another reason. Um, I thought this was not the, your typical planner and you know being a beginner I didn't want to spend so much money on things and maybe I'm not sure if I will like it. You know what I mean? So. Especially since I already have a, um, I've already tried different sizes of, of um, planners, um, I've tried different brands, I've tried all sorts of different things, so I thought this would be a little exciting for me um, to just do these things. I know not a lot of people like to do these, nah, like, these craft things, like they'll just prefer to just buy the whole refill and just get over it. But to me, I thought that this would make it unique because um, majority of the time when you buy like a specific brand, your refills come from that brand. A lot of times. Some people would go a different route to make it more decorative because, and that's why I, I, um, I really like the six um, ring binder because you can decorate, um, you can choose your inserts better. It's just easier, I think. You have more options. You go to Etsy, um, there are like countless, countless of options and the things that you would like on there, um, different themes, 
different um, decoration, just a lot of different options. So I like that part. Um, but why did I not go through with the happy planner? It's because of how it's, um, it's like the way it is, um, set up. It's like awesome the way you can take stuff out. And it's also horrible to me to wait to take stuff out because, oh, look at how I butchered this. Because, um, to me... It just, it would have been um, really annoying to me every time I would use it. And I didn't want to have that kind of situation, you know. And I think I just ruined this. So, let's see. Yeah, there you go. I just ruined that. Yep, I just did. So, I hope I didn't ruin it too much, you know. So, there you go. I have done that, and now I'm gonna move this aside over here. Yeah, all this mess. I'm just gonna clean that after though. So, I know it's gonna be a mess for a little bit, so I'm gonna put this right here. Um, so that was really why. Um, would I have been satisfied with just getting something like the Happy Planner? I think if it wasn't um, made a specific way, like if it was made in in your typical A5 binder, I would not have an issue. But the thing is with the Happy Planner by Mambi is that's their ultimate thing is you get a bunch of rings, you um, decorate it the way you want. You 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 pick and choose. You you um, take stuff out. You put stuff back in. And a lot of people really love it. And you know, good for them. Um, good for them that they really love it that way. But that's just not good for me. I I just know that it's gonna drive me crazy about the rings that are kind of hard. I mean. I've I've seen people um, I've seen and heard people say like it's really annoying to them because um, when they write in it, it just keep the paper keeps coming off, and um, I kind of was questioning about that when I was looking at them, you know, like how it worked and stuff, and um, a lot of people that really love it weren't really mentioning that. It was one person that did that, one YouTuber, and I don't remember her channel, I'm really sorry, but she was irritated about that fact, and I knew that if I got the Mambi, just the Mambi, uh, or Happy Planner, I would feel the same. So, um, I thought, I mean, obviously when I was doing this, I did a lot of research, you guys. Okay, I did different brands, I mean, this is already after, this is already after, um, doing the Louis Vuitton and, um, I was still planning on getting an extra one and, you know, what if I want to get this what if I want to get that, that type of thing, just to add it all because I was really, um, thinking it would be, you know, a memory planner slash scrapbook for my, my baby and that would be kind of nice. So, you know, just to kind of separate a lot of different things, but so far we'll see if I'm able to do that or not. Um, I mean, so far I'm happy with this. I mean, this, I'm actually having a good time. I don't know if anyone else feels the same way when they do stuff like this, when they do the planner, but I do enjoy doing it. Um, so that's just me, you know, it does, if you can see, it does take the, um, dates off, but that is okay. I don't really mind that because I can always just look at the dates next to it or above it. And it's not a big deal to me. If it bothers you, then this might not be the route to go just cause you know, 
if that little thing is gonna bother you, then this is not gonna make you happy. And to me, this type of activity is just for pleasure. Pleasure as well as organizing. Oh, why, do you notice that? Like my puncher is like uneven. I don't know why that is. It seems to like tilt now. I, today, I mean, you guys have seen it. This the first time I've ever used it, ever. I've, I haven't even opened it from the box until today. So for it to make that weird noise, maybe it's full. Maybe it's full. I don't think it is, but. Yeah, I don't know if it is. If it is, it sucks. No, it doesn't suck. It's pretty sharp, actually. The only issue that I have is just because um, I just have to do both sides of the paper. I think that's kind of annoying. Okay, so I am going to. Okay, so I just, um, let's see, something is stuck in there and it's just not budging. I don't know what it is. Oh, there it is. I don't know why, but the metal got kind of stuck. Or so I thought. Oh, there's paper. Oh, well, there it is. Okay. I got it now. Okay, so, um, the weird thing is, is that, um, Oh, so I'm sorry that got all weird and quiet right there. Um, so I would, I was kind of thinking I'm going to do a few episodes, you know, for my planning series. Um, I don't know if I am able to just record and plan at the same time. I really don't know if I'm able to do that like a lot of other wonderful YouTubers do that. Like they just, they're so amazing with it. I don't know if I could do that. But I would like to share like after I've done a setup um, to share all that maybe because I like to, I like looking at other people and their um, decor and um, you know, to kind of share and exchange and stuff like that. Oh, this is so horrible. Um, to me, it's just, um, it helps 
to have like, oh, that's a good idea or, ooh, mine wasn't so great, you know, that kind of thing. Um, I could have done better, that kind of thing. So I hope that there's someone else that would also appreciate what I'm doing and that they also feel the same way as I do when they're watching my videos and um, that this helps them out as well. And actually this is just, to me, is a beautifully perfect size for um, an A5 agenda because I was really kind of thinking I was going to do this for my Louis Vuitton which didn't really happen because they are discontinuing the A5, A5 size of the um, of their plane of their planners which they call agenda uh, so that is why um, so there you go oh my gosh I am happy. Whoops, this came with the bloom planner. Are you okay? You okay? Yeah. <laughs> That's just my baby. He likes to, to do make sounds. Oh my gosh, so this is what it looks like and that's what it looks like. It's pretty thin, if you can see that. Um, I do, I, you know, I'm very proud of myself for doing something like this, like hole punching it myself and not having to just do a shortcut and buy it from someone like an Etsy store or something because I love this. I love the inside. I love like, I love the inside of the bloom planner. I just don't like that it's spiral and I just don't like those other parts. But yeah, so here is the um, end of my first episode. I'm hoping though that in the very near future I can add a divider. Um, I thought I did buy an A5 divider, but I have to look for it. I don't remember where I left it. Because like I said, I wanted to buy my A5 size binder from Louis Vuitton in a very, um, you know, since last year and so I don't know I probably forgot where I left it I think I could have just I don't know where it is really so um, this is what I would want the Louis Vuitton GM or larging agenda to be as big as excuse me because the one they have that discontinued um, is not as is not as tall and is not as wide as this. This is a carpe diem. Um, so I am very interested to see, and I'm kind of hoping that their binder is gonna be like this big. You know, if maybe it will stop like right here, maybe. Because I really, really love this. I am going to explore a different binder and I'm going to purchase a different binder just to see and compare and um, more dividers and stuff so you know to have a variety is the spice of life right so anyway thank you guys so much for stopping by this is episode two of my planning uh planner series and um i hope to see you the next time and maybe you'll also appreciate some of my other videos that are not planning videos do not forget to hit the subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit the bell it will alert you every time I do have a new video uploaded. Thank you guys so much and I hope you have a wonderful evening. Bye.